Hey friends, hey, welcome to uh, today's video. For today, I am going to be closing out my June budget. All right, y'all, so I don't think I've ever closed out my budget on my channel i kind of do it um in the background but today i'm gonna do pretty much a walkthrough of how i close out my budget it's pretty intense so i'm hoping this video doesn't go on too long what i normally do is close out my sinking funds with you guys and just call it a wrap but we're gonna wrap up the entire budget together today so these are all the expense that i kind of go through throughout the month and I need to just add, I've already started, I try to do it uh, slowly throughout the month because it does get pretty overwhelming. I have one more receipt to add and that was, I think that was on the 30th of the month. I had to get more groceries, what's new, right? And that was for $198 and 13 cents and I used cash for that. I went to um, Food Basic and we'll just title that groceries. Okay, so I already started to kind of label things. Ooh, there's one more expense. I went to the nail shop. I don't even remember the date, but I spent $90.61. And it's a bit much, but that's just me practicing to do my nails on my own. So that is just called, what's the place called? Toronto Nails. And I don't even, what am I going to, I guess I could label that as miscellaneous. That was a miscellaneous spend. So now I'm just going to go in and highlight the rest of these so I can account for which category they kind of fall under. Okay, so now everything is all color coordinated. So the next step is just to add up all the total and just kind of log them into my key that is at the bottom of um, my tracker. I guess I could start off with children. So the next thing to do is just plug all of the information that I logged from my daily spending into my monthly uh, spread to kind of give me what my actual spendings are for each categories. And is that it? Oh, um, oh, you know what? Before I go over here, let me just kind of summarize everything into weekly, which I don't really do need to do too much. It's just like for groceries. For groceries, I had no money. I was in the negative, but I still ended up spending one ninety eight thirteen, right? So one ninety eight and thirteen, and that is pretty pretty much kind of it. Where I did some more spending. But this should kind of help me in general. This will help me for the most part to kind of uh, fill this out. So I'm just going to push this off to the side because now we're focusing on closing out the monthly budget portion. 
Okay. All right. So when it comes to income, I did make just a little bit more from side hustle and I do plug that in. So just a little bit more. So it's 928 plus what did I make? 32 52. So that gives me an actual income of $3,960.52, just a little bit more, not that much. When it comes to groceries, so now this is where the key at the bottom of my daily spending kind of helps me because I tracked everything and totaled that out. So that helps me to fill out my actual. So for groceries, I ended up spending nine hundred and fifty four dollars and eleven cents as it pertains to gas i only ended up spending 125 which is a plus for children i ended up spending 2160 so just a dollar fifty over which is not that bad household that was Household was, household was a bit much. I spent 206.62, and that is because I needed to kind of re-up on so many things, bleach, toilet paper, you name it. I had to kind of replenish those items and I kind of waited and waited and waited it out. So that is why the household ended up being so much through for quite a few months instead of using the household what i think i should have done was use the household as somewhat of a sinking fund but i kept on using what was in the household and kind of put it to other areas such as groceries being the main one instead of just kind of putting that money aside for when i actually needed the household supply but that's neither here or there for entertainment i spent Fifty seven sixty two miscellaneous I ended up spending you know what I didn't add up miscellaneous properly let me just go back and do miscellaneous because I didn't even show you guys what I these red the um, the items that are in red were actual kind of what do you call unplanned expenses so let me add that up and i'm just going to plug that in with my miscellaneous spending so my unplanned expense for this month was 254 dollars and 71 cents and if i total that up with miscellaneous which was 110 Let's see what I get. 1, 10, and 61. So miscellaneous was 365.31. And that includes unplanned. I don't even, I guess, yeah, unplanned kind of rolls over into miscellaneous. Okay, so let's see how much my cash envelope ended up being i budgeted eight hundred dollars but clearly just by looking at my grocery bills you could tell that it's way over budget so i'm just going to add that up and see what the total is okay so that gives me one thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars and sixteen cents okay so now i'm going to move on down to my bills don't share them with you it's just what it is so for my bills um i guess i should do the math i'm gonna do the math and then just come back quickly and tell you guys what i actually spend Okay guys, so I am back and my bills ended up being $1,329.08. So 
so that was a little bit much and I had an unexpected bill so that is the reason for that so I'm just over in all areas of life right now okay moving on over to my debts the only I pretty much was on point with my when it came to my debts for the debt number one I instead of putting 200 I had to put $20 I had to start like scaling back was just something that I had to do and I really scaled back on this particular uh, credit card that I have just because I'm kind of way ahead this is the one that I keep just putting a lot putting a lot on so it I could afford to not put the full 200 and be still be in good standing so for this one I only ended up doing four hundred and twenty dollars which was under budget but not really because you could clearly see i was over budget in other areas right so for my high priority um i wrote this down somewhere actually i didn't end up putting the full eighty dollars for this one okay so for high priority i know for a fact i put 25 and then I put 15, so 40. So 40 went into high priority. And I put a total of 85 altogether. So 85 take away 40. So 45 went into my lifestyle binder. So that was another area where I scaled back a little bit. So let me just go ahead and total that out. Okay, so I was under in this area just to kind of accommodate the other areas that I was over in. I did put 60 in my mini savings and I did put, no, I did not put 300 in my end of month savings. I only ended up putting $200 in there. So that leaves me with 260. And as you could see, another area where I had to scale back. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill out my summary. And that's it for closing out my budget. Um, yeah, I was, listen, June had me in the ringer. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, and with a little bit more discipline, July will be good to me. And now it's time to just go ahead and close out my sinking funds. All right, so I'll start off with my high priority, which is not a lot of counting because I didn't add too much to it. I'm pretty sure um, I didn't add, so it should be the same as last month. Let me just do a double check to make sure. And then I'll just kind of... Okay, yeah. So I kind of know... That I only added funds to two of the envelopes so I didn't add anything to our home so our home still just has 25 I'll dock that so the new balance is still 25 or I kind of did that wrong I should have said zero was added nothing was added let me just go ahead and kind of put zero on the ones that need to be at zero. I can't remember if I put anything in vacation, but we'll see. Okay, so all of these are still the same. So 25 for this one, 30 in that. 30 and I'm just doing this so for next month I know exactly what my starting balance is so I'm able to track how much I kind of add so let's go down to vacation 
I'm just going to double check vacation because I can't remember if I added anything to vacation. So vacation was at 30, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. Ooh, I added $5 to vacation, right? 10, 20, 30, 35. So $5 was actually added to vacation. Quickly, let me just quickly correct that. So I did add $5, so vacation is now at $35, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so for savings, I didn't add anything to Boss Babe, so Boss Babe still only has 30 Okay, let's go into savings because the last time I had 60, let's see how much I have now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. I'm so confused. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I could have sworn I added something to this one. 15. Or did I update it? What did I add to? All right, so this one only has 60. Now I'm a little bit confused with myself because I'm not sure. I know I only added in two envelopes, but now I'm not sure which two envelopes I added funds into. All right, so my challenge had 45 the last time. 20, 40, 60, and 80. Okay, so it has 80 now. So that means, let's just do a quick math because my brain is just not here right now. Take away 45, so 35. I added $35 to my challenge, which leaves me at $80. I think off camera, I'm just going to go ahead and do a double check because I don't remember which one I added to and which ones I did not. And now I'm a little thrown off. Let me see. Let me just double check birthday quickly. So birthday had 30, 10. Yeah, we're good. It's not birthday. I'll figure it out off camera. Okay, so that is it for my high priority binder. Now I'm just going to do my lifestyle binder. Starting off with my envelope. The last time I had 20, and now I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm at $30, which means I added $10, $10 to this one. Okay, next up I have Peanuts envelope. He has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. Okay, so that means I added another 10 to his. And I think I added a 10 to all of my kids' um, envelope. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so I think all the kids got Ten dollars. Okay, I got it. You got it. Yeah. All right. So where was I? So I left off at one month. I'm pretty sure the camera cut off, which kind of lets me know the video is way too long. So we're just gonna wrap things up. Super super quick. Okay, and that is where I ended my stuff, and I didn't add anything to any of these envelope 
So they are all the same. The balance from the previous month is what we are working with. So I'm just gonna do that quickly and call it a day right there for that. Okay, so going into July, I'm just hoping I could do a little bit more cash stuff this month. My budget was just, just so crazy because of my grocery budget. I just don't even understand why. I think I'm just going to have to sit back and see where I'm kind of going wrong. I'm pretty sure it's the things that I, that I purchase. I'm just going to kind of switch up my grocery menu a little bit and maybe that will help me in terms of spending so much. All right, so next up is my business binder. Okay, so office supply had 15 the last time and now it has five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so I'm not going to drag this out. I know for a fact that because I stuck to the budget when I cashed up on this, I'm just going to take this off. All of these received $5. So I'm just going to go ahead and spare myself and add the $5 here for these ones and then I know my new balance for all of these are $20. Okay, so that's what it is. My business binder now is at 20 so you know what i'm gonna okay i'm just going to skip these for now and go down to my self-care um binder and this is a new one i started this in june so i added five dollars to beauty five dollars to nails and five dollars to here five dollars to spa and that means five dollars is my balance for pretty much everything except for my shopping envelope which is over here i added ten dollars to that one so my balance is at ten so now i'm going to go back to my dream home binder, which is, this is the first month I'm actually tracking everything. And I just don't, I don't quite remember exactly how much the balance was from last time. So let's figure it out together. Okay, so the first, kind of scoot things over. Trying to make sure everything is in frame but it won't be because i have it so zoomed in let me zoom out a little bit okay i think that should do it so okay i could tell what i had from last time because it's 10 so 10 20 30. i had 30 dollars in mortgage from my last cash stuff and then I added another 10. I'm just gonna use the tracker to speed things up. So that means I have $40. Maybe I'll do like another video counting how much the balance is, or I could just do a quick count. So 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So you guys know it's accurate. So we're just gonna go off the trackers just to kind of speed things up because I'm sure this video is about a half an hour long. So for property tax, the last time I had 10, 20, 30 as well. 
and then I added ten dollars so forty dollars is in property taxes next up is utilities utilities had 30 and I guess they all kind of had 30 this is just for recording purposes or just to, for me to keep my personal record so I now have $40 in utilities electricity also had 30 it now has 40 because I added $10 yet again okay living room same all right so bedroom had 10 and I added another 10 so this is now at 20. Um, kitchen had 10, 20, 30. And I added $5 to kitchen. So it now has $35. And I think that is it as far as I'm concerned. Um, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 bathroom has 25 I did not add anything to it and the starting balance was 25 this was one of the envelope I did not stuff internet was also another one I'm just writing this down because this is the first time I'm actually tracking this um, sinking funds binder so internet only has five and it started off with five phone has 10 did not add anything and it started with 10 Netflix has 10 as well did not add anything it started with 10 and then for my miscellaneous my miscellaneous also has 10 So that is it for my dream home binder. Now comes the fun part where I'm going to go and add all of these numbers up so I could have a tally of how much I was able to save. Okay, so that was a bit much, but overall I have $1,260 in total in my sinking funds. All of my sinking funds combined. And then just kind of document that, that I have $1,260 in sinking funds, which is pretty great and that is not included in my saving challenge so i feel like i'm doing fairly well i could be do i i could do better as always we can always do better right the goal is to always improve on whatever it is that you're doing so that is it for my budget closeout it was pretty intense but i hope you guys got this far if you did give me a heart Drop a heart, any color heart, in the, um, the comment section down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, as always, bye guys.